Hi everyone. We want to share the experience with you how we prepared and passed ISTQB certified test foundation level exam version 4.0 in 2023. Let's begin. As you see, we received the email with the results. The result could have been better. The reason we only scored 31 is that we didn't prepare enough and this exam requires meaningful preparation. But we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's get familiar with the scope of this video first, so that you can watch only the parts you're interested in. First, we'll tell you how we prepared for the exam. Second, we'll tell you what the exam looked like and whether we had the questions similar to those on the Internet. Third, we'll provide recommendations on how to prepare for the exam better than we did. Fourth, we'll tell you where to register and take the exam online. Fifth, we'll give some tips and hints on how to successfully pass the exam. They help us a lot this time, and we are sure that they will help you too. Six, we will add an advertisement for our course, preparation for the ISTQB Foundation level exam, and a coupon. But no one will see it because it will be at the very end. As you can see, we want to cover many topics in one video, so it will be long, but valuable and helpful. Let's begin. First, how we prepared for the exam. We didn't do much and because of this, the results are so low. Our instructors passed the 2011 and 2018 versions of the foundation level exam. And this is the only reason why we were able to pass the newest version 2023 because we already had knowledge and experience of passing the ISTQB exams. So, how did we prepare? First, we read the new syllabus only once. Those who have read it know that it is good material for repeating and recalling the theory, but not for learning and mastering it. Still, that is what we did, read the syllabus only once attentively. After that, we solved the questions provided in the sample exam section. In the previous versions, there were three exam samples. This time, there is only one exam sample, which is not enough for a good preparation. And that's all what we did. We read the new syllabus once, familiarized ourselves with the terms, and solved 40 tests. And we went for the exam. What did it look like? For those who are completely new to the subject of the ISTQB Foundation Level Exam, it is best to familiarize yourself with its rules and questions on the ISTQB website. There are two important documents on the website. The first one is called Exam Structure and Rules. There you can find the information you need to know before taking an exam. But the most important information is this. The total number of questions in the exam is 40. You need to answer at least 26 to pass the exam, which may sound easy, but it is not. Each question is worth exactly one point, and the exam length is 60 minutes. You can pause the video and check the rules one more time if you want. And we continue. The second important document is sample exam. There is only one available in the section. In that document, you can familiarize yourself with questions that are very similar to those that will be on the real exam. Since we passed the previous versions, we want to emphasize one important feature of the new version. Unfortunately, we do not have a photographic memory, so we did not remember all the questions on the exam. But we have memorized the structure on types of questions for each chapter, and we will tell you about them now. Let's go lesson by lesson. Let's start with the first chapter, Fundamentals of Testing. The questions on this topic were simple. Since we passed the previous versions of the exam, and there are almost no changes in this one, we did not have many problems and made only one mistake in eight questions. And questions were very similar to the questions in the exam samples. There is one new topic in Chapter 1, the whole team approach and there was one question related to it on the exam. Similar to the question in the new exam sample, this is a general trend in the new foundation level exam. 
there were always questions for all new topics, and since we read the syllables only once, we suffered from it. The same applies to Chapter 2, testing throughout the software development lifecycle. Most of it hasn't been changed, so there are a lot of questions related to the test levels, test types, and SDLC topics. And there are a lot of examples of those questions in the old and new exam samples. But unlike the first chapter, no one but several new topics were added to the second chapter. Testing as a driver for software development. DevOps and testing. Shift left approach. Retrospectives and process improvement. And each of them had a question on the exam. Although it is only two new pages in the syllabus, at least three questions on the exam were on new topics. We don't want this video to last an hour, so let's summarize and say that the same applies to all six chapters. 70-80% of the content has not changed. It remains the same as it was in the previous version. The problem is that in each chapter there are only 1-3 new topics. That's about 10-15 pages of new content which is not much. But the distribution of questions between all the new theoretical materials is not the same as with content. 15-20 questions out of 40 relate to the new theory, which is a lot. Why is it important that many questions relate to the new theory? The answer to this question is in the next part of our video. How we recommend preparing for the ISDQB Foundation level exam? Since 2015, our approach does not change and works successfully. It consists of simple steps. The first step is to read only one section from the syllabus. The syllabus is freely available on the ISTQP website. For example, Chapter 1, Fundamentals of Testing, consists of five sections. The first section is What is Testing? There are only two pages related to this section in the ISTQP syllabus and it takes 5-10 minutes to read it. Each sentence in the syllabus has terms, definitions, classifications, lists, etc. Therefore, after reading one or two pages, you may want a coffee and have a short break. But reading a syllabus is not enough. The second step is to solve at least 5-10 tests for each section. The theory is in the syllabus is very extensive and imprecise. Instead, tests are written for each sentence in the syllabus. And they require not only knowledge of the theory, but also a good understanding of it. This is best illustrated in Chapter 4, Black Box Test Techniques Topic. If you read a few paragraphs in the syllabus about decision table testing, you'll understand that you have not understood anything. But what you definitely do not expect is that there will be such a question on the exam. And that's why it is important to have a lot of practice in solving tests. Because each test deepens and improves knowledge of the theory. Each test helps to understand those aspects of the theory that are difficult to understand only by reading the syllabus. So the approach is clear and simple. Read the section and solve the test for that section. There is just one problem. We could not find materials with valid tests sorted according to sections. That's why we created ourselves. In our course, the questions are sorted according to the chapter sections in the ISTUB syllabus. As you can see, there are five sections in the first chapter Fundamentals of Testing. What is testing? Why is testing necessary? And so on. The sections are named and sorted according to the ISTUB syllabus. For example, if we check the section What is testing, there are only two pages in the syllabus. In our course, you can find more than 20 questions related only to that section. Each solved test improves the understanding of theory, deepens knowledge, and helps to remember terms, definitions, classifications, and lists by heart. So, when you solve 20 questions that are related to only two pages of the syllabus, you'll be very well prepared for the exam. And since one attempt to pass the exam costs around $300, it is very important to prepare well. After you read all six chapters and solve hundreds of tests, there is one more step. Step 3. Practice before the exam. 
In our course, you can find five exam samples similar to the real ones. So you can check how much time it takes to solve 40 questions and if you score 26 points or not. After you take the above three steps and practice for the exam, the time will come to pass the exam and the best option is to register online. We passed exams in the ICQI provider and we will share the link in the video description. We won't dwell on the details here because soon we'll make a separate video about where to register and what the exam looks like online. You can choose the language and the exam, request a second attempt or additional time, which we'll talk about in the tips and tricks section. You can book the exam at almost any time, there are a lot of free slots every day. The results of the exam are sent to the email box. In our case, they came a few hours after the exam. As we said, we will make a separate video with step-by-step -step guide on how to register, prepare for the workplace, and how the exam is conducted. Therefore, we do not dwell on the details in this video. Time to move on to the next topic of our video. Tips and tricks that will make it easier to pass the exam. Let's begin. Tip 1. Leave the big questions for last. This may sound obvious or even unimportant, but in fact, this is what can save you on the exam. According to the rules on the exam, all questions should be worth the same one point. This means that complex questions and easy questions have the same value in terms of points. Another rule is that the duration of the exam is 60 minutes. Difficult questions take much longer to solve than simple questions. The real exam contains 32-35 questions, which can be solved within a minute. It is better to solve them first without time pressure, so you will make fewer mistakes. If you solve the tests in order one by one, then about halfway through the exam you'll face the test from chapter 4. Some of these tests may take 5-10 to 10 minutes to solve, and the total number of such tests is 5-8 in the exam ticket. Therefore, it is better to leave such questions to the end. To avoid failing the exam by making mistakes in simple questions due to lack of time. Let's move on to the second tip. So, tip 2. When solving a big test, read the questions first and then the description. At first, this advice may seem strange, but it can save you valuable minutes in the exam. Sometimes the test description is very long and it will take 1-2 minutes to read it. After you read the description, you will come to the questions and answers, and you will understand that you need to read the description a second time. This way, you will lose precious minutes. Therefore, it is better to read the questions and sometimes the answers first, and then read a description with an understanding of what you are looking for in it. Try to solve several large tests in this way, and you will see how effective it is and how much time it saves. You will be surprised. As we said, we only have 60 minutes of time and every saved minute is priceless. Which leads us to the third tip. Tip 3. Don't hesitate to take an extra 15 minutes. According to the ISTQB rules, if the candidate's native language is not the exam set language, the candidate is allowed an additional 25% of time. Therefore, when you pay for the exam, do not forget to check the time extension checkbox. 15 minutes it is a lot of time and the pressure of time can lead to unexpected mistakes in those tests that you can answer correctly. So, take your time. T4 is the second chance. For an additional $50, you can buy the option with a second try. It's up to you to take it or not. Most students pass the exam on the first try, but there were cases when people passed only on the third attempt. It's all individual, so it's up to you. The last sixth tip is to buy a book that was created by the authors of the exam. Unfortunately, there is still no book on preparation for the latest 4.0-2023 version of the exam. We think it will appear in the coming months. We cannot share the content of the book, but it is useful because it contains 10 times more information than in the syllabus and the information is better presented with pictures, diagrams, and explanations. How to see in the syllabus only 2-3 pages about the techniques. The book has 20 pages of the same topic. 
but the book is expensive, therefore, again, it depends on your financial capabilities. Last but not least, come to the exam well rested and relaxed. Although this sounds funny and not serious, it is actually very important. If there is an opportunity to register for the exam on a non-working day, in the middle of the day, it will be better than registering in the morning when you are still sleepy. Mark registered for the exam on Tuesday morning and had a 90 release deployment on Monday night. And this is not the best experience for passing such a difficult exam as ISTQB. Therefore, get a good night's sleep, drink a cup of coffee or another favorite drink, do morning exercise and then take the exam with a calm soul. And for those who are still watching, a moment of advertising. We have a course on the Udemy platform ISTQB Foundation Level Preparation. With its help, thousands of students successfully pass the exam. As we mentioned earlier in this video, the biggest benefit and the highest value of the course is a large number of questions similar to those that will be on the real exam. Well, you will have hundreds and hundreds of questions to practice, deepen your knowledge of theory, and better remember the terms, definitions, and classifications from the syllabus. We also create videos to explain the most difficult and obscure topics. For example, we have a video on how to solve questions on black box test design techniques, equivalence partitioning, BVA, decision table, and state transition. At the end of the course, you will have the opportunity to practice before the real exam with the help of five exam samples. The coupon for the course is available in the link in the description of the video. That's all. If this video was useful for you, like and subscribe to the channel. We wish you to pass the exam successfully. So long.